Here we are going to do the first step for deploying HCX in your environment. I'm going into my private cloud and going into add-ons. And then you'll see migration using VMware HCX. Once you go into that section, this is where you can agree to the terms and conditions and enable and deploy VMware HCX Enterprise, which is included with your Azure VMware solution. This takes a few minutes. Now we can go back to our resource and make sure that our deployment is complete. You can see we have HCX Enterprise and all the other options. So now I want to copy that URL so I can log into the HCX Manager. This is using your same VMware credentials for vCenter for AVS. For the sake of time, I've already logged in to the URL with my vCenter credentials. Under System Updates, you'll see VMware HCX or Copy Link. HCX lets you download the OVA or Copy Link you can import into a content library. So for this example, I'm downloading it. I'm going to log into my on-premises vCenter. And here we can deploy from an OVF template. Here, you just upload the file from your desktop and go through the steps, selecting your cluster, giving it a correct name for your environment. And then just reviewing the details before deploying. Next is the license agreement and your storage options. For network, make sure to select the management network that you pre-configured when you were planning for your AVS deployment. Here you customize it with the password you want for your admin credentials and your root password. Give it a host name and the network settings that you want for your environment. Just scroll down a bit here. You can also have DNS server. And once you're ready, you can just hit next and you're ready to complete. Now the other way is to import into the content library. So we'll go back in and create a content library in our vCenter. And you can get give it any name that makes sense for you. It's a local content library. Add some storage. Apply security policy. Nope and it's ready to complete. So now we can import via the URL that was displayed on the appliance in our Azure VMware solution. So here we're gonna enter the URL. It's warning me about a certificate if I wanna proceed. Yes, let's go for it. And now you can see below the status of it importing the image. And here we can go in and look at our templates. You can see our templates been imported and we can deploy a VM from this template. And this is gonna show you the same options I discussed before. So if you wanna fast forward, but you'll give it a name, select your compute resource, your cluster. Review the details before deploying. Agree to the license terms. Select your storage. Select your management network that you set up. Custom template, I've already configured this for myself, but the passwords are there, the IP address I wanna use, and a DNS server. So it looks good, and it's ready to complete. So now we're deploying the HCX connector appliance on premises. And when it's done, it'll show up in our inventory and we'll have to power it on. And this can take a bit. So if, when you power it on, give it some time before trying to connect to it because it might keep timing out. We're gonna go back into our AVS private cloud and go into the HCX settings and create a key for us to activate our on-premises HCX connector VM. So we'll give it a name here. Click 
click yes. And you'll see the keys available. I'm going to go to the IP address of my HCX connector and port 9443 and continue. Now that it's up and running, I can connect. And I'm using the credentials I created at deployment. And now we're configuring HCX. So I'll put my location. Give it a system name. And then type in my vCenter server settings. It could be FQDN or IP. Then you can also configure your single sign-on server. This might be different from your vCenter server, but in my case, it's the same thing. And then we're gonna copy and paste that license key that we created. So go back into AVS and copy the key. We'll go back to paste it. And now we can activate. This can take a few moments, and then when it's done activating, it'll want to reboot. So you can restart the appliance. And this can take up to 15 minutes, but once it's up and running, you'll be able to log in and see vCenter up and running in green as the connection. So here you'll see we're logged back in and vCenter is green. We'll go to configuration to set up HCX roles. By default, the HCX admin role goes to the vSphere.local administrator. You most likely have a different SSO domain, so you can change it here. After this, it may take about five to 10 minutes for the plugins to show into vCenter. And also if they don't show up, you can log out and log back in, but here they're showing up for me. Just click in here and I see HCX. As you can see, our deployment and configuration is complete. We downloaded the OVA and also imported it. We deployed HCX on-prem and enabled it in the cloud. We obtained the HCX license to activate it and we can go on to the next steps for site pairing.